Hi, my name is Sullivan Phillips. Uh, thanks to Burr News, we're here at Brown and Company having a book signing. What are we doing here at Brown and Company? Well, we're having a book signing. My book is uh, being released here today at Brown and Company. Um, so we're doing a book signing. What's the book about? The book is about mistakes. Mistakes happen, but if you don't change the pattern, you'll constantly go through it. And so I just put lessons and just my truth as to how I see things happening from my perspective and how people can make better choices. Who is Sullivan Phillips? Sullivan Phillips is a son of the soil. I'm from here. Um, my roots are here. Um, everything about me was instilled here. And um, luckily for me, I had an athletic career that I got to showcase the world. Um, my small beginnings from here. And where did that journey take you? Journey took me to six continents, all over the world, all from bouncing a ball. Um, and I love it, man, because now I can come back and tell that kid who's in primary school, like, don't be fooled by a small beginning. Like, there's something great in you, and the world can see it. Would it be fair to say you've lived most of your life off of Bungie at this point? Yeah, it is. But it's, but none of the, the, the important things are missed. Like the manners and the little things like being on a bus and you see an old lady and it's just out of respect you get out of the way. So the little things have never left even though I may not have physically been here. Most of your years off the island has been spent in Europe. What was that experience like? Enlightening. I think when you're in certain cultures you get comfortable and you think things are a certain way. But what you learn when you're in Europe is there's countries where they eat bread and meat and that's all they have they don't have anything else that's all they can afford so when you come back to here it's like wow we're very fortunate so it's more of an enlightening experience your abilities on the basketball court have been recognized over and over throughout your career speak to us a little bit about how what that meant to you it's great it's great to be recognized it's great for people to know that you've accomplished something but I think now, in this phase of life, I want somebody to come along and be better. I think that that's a true testament to who you are as a person when you're not stuck on your personal, and now you want to give back and find somebody who can, I guess, not replace you because you're a human, but kind of be the next person to take the torch. There was a time in your career where you had the opportunity to play in the Olympics. That didn't quite work out. Tell us a little bit about that, and how did that affect you as far as your commitment to playing for Bermuda? Um, what happened was I played in the CBC for Bermuda. And because I played in CBC, long story short, it kind of messed with the technicalities of me playing for Great Britain. How did it affect me? It, it, initially, it broke me because I knew that that would be like a, another catapult, another launch. But what I learned from it was I got a lot closer to my family and it actually changed the relationship of me and my family. So it was it would happen for a reason you know but at the time yeah I was definitely going berserk like I can't believe this is happening how does it feel being retired at first it's scary because I never really planned for it you know you live that life and you're like oh it's just the normal life but now it's it's refreshing because now I know my purpose I understand what I'm supposed to do and so now it's, it's not that I'm retired because I can still play. Like, I'm not dead. But <laughs> the reality is I understand what basketball means to me and what it's done for me. But I understand now what I'm supposed to do. How will your experience transition into what you do moving forward from here? I think the transition is the same. You take your time. You have a vision. You put it out there. You try to attain it. And if it doesn't work, you navigate around. I mean, it's kind of like a sport, you know? You play basketball, you miss 10 shots in a row. Well, something's wrong with how you shoot the ball. You should change it. It's the same with your approach in life. Well, for me, anyways. You try to keep it as simple as possible. Keep it as basic as possible. Not try to complicate it. And if you make mistakes along the way, you, you try to go back and fix it. You released the book on some of your experiences. What else do you see in your future moving forward? More books. I think there are more books, more concepts of truth that I think that I'm evolving and seeing in my life, especially around my family. Like a lot of the information I give is about me personally, my family, and different things I've learned. So for me, that's pretty much what I see. More books, more concepts, more sharing truth.
still involved with the sport? Absolutely. Absolutely. Still involved heavily. Um, this 3v3 tournament that we're putting on is me trying to be the face of restoration. Not even restoration. Just helping the sport to get recognition again. And it become a powerhouse like how we used to be. Tell us a little bit more about Saturday Night's Event. Saturday Night's Event is a, a, a fundraising give back. So basically what we're doing is we're partnering with Impact Mentoring Academy as well as Bermuda Basketball Association and my nonprofit in the States. And basically what we're saying is we want people to see sport in a good way. We want people to see young people enjoying themselves and having a great time. We have a moon bounce there so we can have younger kids come. Try to make it a family event. That's what I grew up on. When we came to basketball games, you was there all day. They had food. They had family. Everybody was there. It was a fun event. I'd like to see that again. Thanks for my Thank you.